All right, so today we're gonna stretch our hamstrings. We're gonna stretch the front of our hips. We're gonna do a little bit of core work and we're gonna do some upper body. Yeah, sound good? Let's start with stretching out the hamstrings. So getting your strap and laying down on your back. You can support your head if you want to with the pillow, that's fine. So you're gonna bring your right foot up, placing the strap around the ball of the foot, keeping your left leg bent if you need to in order to keep your right leg completely straight. If you can keep your right leg completely straight as you extend the left leg down, that's fine. Just check that your left foot is in line with the front of your hip. And hopefully you feel that stretch going down your calf and into the hamstring. Great, okay, so we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Keep trying to pull your toes down toward you, feeling the calf and the hamstring continuing to deepen into the stretch. And now you're gonna turn out your right leg so you stretch a different hamstring muscle. Just checking to see if you're holding any tension in your jaw or your neck and shoulders. Let it go if you can. And then you're gonna turn your right leg in, stretch a different hamstring muscle. Check to see if you're holding your breath. And then you're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna cross it over your body. You're gonna let your right butt cheek come up off of the mat. You do wanna keep your upper back on the mat, the back of your ribs anchored on the mat. So only crossing the leg over as far as you can without losing those anchor points. And here you're gonna be stretching out the outer thigh and the glute a little bit. And then nice and easy releasing the leg so we can switch sides. You may notice that the right side feels longer than the left now. <laughs> so let's stretch out the left side, bringing that left leg up, checking that your right foot is in line with the hip, right hip. Feeling that stretch in your left calf and hamstring. Just trying to relax the rest of your body. And then turning out the left leg to switch the stretch.
And then turning the left leg in to switch the stretch. Trying to let go of any tension you may be holding in other parts of your body. And then crossing the left leg over, letting your left butt cheek come up off the mat, but keeping your upper body and the back of your ribs anchored on the mat. Stretching the outer thigh and the glute. Release any tension you might have in your jaw. And then nice and easy, letting that left leg release down long. Just be in corpse pose for a breath here. Just noticing the blood flow. You may already feel more open in the front of your hips, feeling that space in the lower back. And then from there, we'll do some ab work. So you're going to go ahead and bend your knees and have your feet flat. And you're going to place your hands behind your head. And you're going to exhale into an upper ab curl. You want to feel the front of your neck and your rectus abs fire up. You want to have your shoulders off the mat. And you're just going to do little pulses, keeping your shoulders off the mat, nice and small and controlled. You want to do as many as you can. When you notice the back of your neck starting to strain or your lower back strain, you want to stop and rest. That's fine. Make sure that you're breathing. Hopefully you feel the burn pretty quickly. Try to have the feeling of your feet staying anchored on the mat. I'm just going to do a few more. Last one for me. And then resting down. Oh, I felt that. So now we're going to go into the upper ab curl again. And this time, add a slight rotation to your left, very small. And then adding in the little pulses again, keeping your shoulders off the mat. You want to feel your right oblique working, feeling the rectus abs, the front of the neck. Again, resting if you feel any strain in the back of your neck or your lower back. Work at a pace that you feel you are in control of the movement. Hopefully you're already feeling the burn, feeling the heat. I'm just going to do a few more. I'm already getting tired. Last one for me. Oh my goodness. I feel it. I'm getting hot. Are you ready to do the other side? All right. Exhaling into the upper ab curl. Rotating to the right just a little bit and then adding in the little pulses, keeping your shoulders off the mat, feeling that burn, feeling the front of the neck, the rectus abs, the oblique, staying anchored through your feet, trying to keep your shoulders off the mat. You may feel an ache in the low belly as well. I'm just going to do a few more. Hmm. 
Ooh, nice. All right, so from there, let's do swan. So we're gonna flip over onto the belly. This will feel nice because it will also stretch out the stomach. You can have your feet together in parallel or turned out, whatever is more comfortable for you. Hands in line with your shoulders. You're gonna inhale and go into as much of an extension that feels safe for you. And then you're gonna exhale, come down as slow as possible so you work your upper body and your upper back. And then on your inhale, going back up into the extension. And then coming down nice and slow, really working the upper back and the triceps. Keeping your shoulders open, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Imagining that your belly button never wants to touch the mat. Hopefully you feel your legs and glutes active. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Feeling that upper body work. Wow, I'm feeling it. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, nice and slow. Keep your legs, your butt, your abs on. Wow, feeling those triceps. I'm gonna do one more. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Ooh, on fire. And then resting in a child's pose position. Reaching your bum toward your heels, stretching out your lower back. If you want to stretch out your lats and your shoulders, extend your arms out above your head. Just taking some regular breaths here. Breathing into the back and the side of your ribs. And then gently coming out of it. Ooh, good work. Oh my goodness, I'm hot. Let's stretch out the front of the hips. So let's bring ourselves into a gentle lunge. Feeling the front of the hip opening up. Feeling the glute supporting you because you're opening up that hip, it's gonna fire up the glute. And how much lunge you choose to do will be up to you, what feels right for you. You do wanna feel the stretch in the front of the hip going down the thigh toward your knee and actually up into the deep belly a little bit, stretching out the psoas. Are you feeling it? If that's enough stretch for you, you're welcome to stay there. If you wanna add a little bit more stretch, you can bring up the arm and side bend over to the opposite side. You wanna feel that back glute engaged. You wanna feel the lift of your abdominals. You wanna feel like you're trying to open up that back hip. And then gently coming out of it, and we'll switch sides.
just checking to make sure that your back line is in line with the your back line <laughs> check that your back foot is in line with your hip <laughs> and then gently lunging forward as you lift in the abs open the hip feel that back glute turn on do as much lunge as feels right for you <laughs> bringing that arm up and side bending to increase it You do wanna feel that back glute working for you. Keep trying to lengthen and open up that back hip as you're in the stretch, feeling the support of the abdominals. And then gently coming out of it. Oh, that feels good. So from there, let's go into corpse pose. Wow, just noticing the blood flow, noticing how much more open the hips feel, how open the shoulders feel, the space in the lower back. Hopefully you feel good. So from here, let's activate our parasympathetic nervous system. So you're gonna inhale through your nose, hold your breath at the top for a couple of counts, exhale out your mouth longer than your inhale, and you wanna do that at least three times. Here you go. And then that's it. You did it. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, wow. Oh, how are you feeling? Did that hit all the right spots? That's good. I feel so grounded now. I feel so good. I'm like, I'm, if I could just be like this, you know, I feel very mm. zen right now. It's nice. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible. Are you ready for exclusive content, early access to content, and other perks? Join us on Patreon. Click on the link in the description of this post for more.